Hi, I'm Gina Moore from My Bulldogs. I am the ultimate puppy picker, and this is Dragon Ball Z. That's his grandpa. That's both of his parents' dad. So, double Mac. Looks a lot like him, huh? Like a little wrinkly, a lot of skin on the forehead. This dog is the least bully out of the four siblings, but turns out he might just be the nicest puppy. He's also chocolate, meaning he has a brown nose instead of black. That makes him a dilute, like a blue or a gray color is not black. He's chocolate. A lot of people like that. I like it, it's all right. I like blue better or black. The chocolate's fine. He's brindle. And I say he's reverse brindle, meaning he's more light than dark. Usually it's a dark stripe with light. He looks like he's light with a dark stripe, which is kind of cool. This is his first time I'm bringing him out and stacking him. So he's excited about the ground beef and also afraid not to be on the floor. So I'm trying to do two things at once. I'm trying to make him look good, not get bit and build his confidence a little bit about being off the ground. Oh, he's gonna bite me. He's a little excited about the ground beef. I've been keeping him on kibble, so, oh, so he's a little excited. So, God. Okay, there right, you can see it. Great neck. Sliding everywhere on this rug more upright shoulders than the rest of the litter, which is this. This distance from the elbow to the top of the shoulder is longer too. He's gonna have a nice top line. I can't get him to hold the stack too long because he keeps looking for the meat. Let's see. He has great shoulders. See his elbow ends up here and he still has a nice amount of rib cage below that. That's a beautiful thing we try to maintain. Also great top line. Ouch. So kept his full tail. When he stacks up like that, amazing. As long as I don't get bit. I'll start to correct them more. Like that's pretty unacceptable. This is their first time eating meat out of my hands. Tail set's a little high. There's no kink in his tail or I would have docked it. So he has a nice tail. Hey, calm down. So I gotta show him it's okay to be corrected without, you know, without it being the end of the world, just like their mom would correct them. <laughs> this food's like the holy grail right now. There's a way you can hold the meat where you don't get bit. Let's see if I can get his chest. Oh yeah, see so he just looks awesome. Just looks like a powerful boy. There you go. This <laughs> takes practice to stack up for videos anyway, which nobody else would really have to do unless you were a breeder. <laughs> You're all right, buddy. So he's nervous. See the way he's shaking. He's working through his nerves. So you don't really have to pacify a dog when they're nervous because that just kind of um, rewards that behavior. So you want him to know that it's okay. He can work through it and not... Oh, poor baby. Oh, oh, that's weird. Yeah, he'll be all right. So, Dragon Ball Z, let's talk about his head a little bit more. None of them have the cheeks that we like. So, I wouldn't say Mac has big cheeks either. All right, buddy. So, cheeks are not there. He definitely has a great stop and lift. Stop, lift before it goes back. Flat muzzle, as in his bottom jaw is not sticking out. <laughs> Excuse 
excuse you. All right, it's Dragon Ball Z. I would say he's closer to five weeks now. I need to check the calendar. Full tail, reverse chocolate brindle. Great markings. Excellent front structure. Even though he's being wobbly up here. Pretty boy.